Hello everybody and welcome back to your favourite FIFA channel on YouTube and today it is episode 4 of the Harry Maguire career mode. But first things first, I do have to apologise for the lack of career mode content recently. I have not been very well so I've just been struggling to get the recording done and edit and all that good stuff. I have been uploading some content still but I know it's not what you want to see so hopefully the career mode for Harry Maguire and the goalkeeper one will be back in full force so hopefully you can look forward to that. But if you do enjoy this episode make sure you do leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on and let's get into this bad boy. So the first game of the day is a Carabao Cup match, round of three against Crew Alexandra and we are at home at Bramall Lane and we love to see it. And we start this game off nice and quick, four minutes in and we're already in Crew Alexandra's box and we have a little shot there and somehow it finds its way into the back of the net. McBurney with probably the worst connection on a volley I've ever seen and somehow sneaks into that bottom corner. That is ridiculous. I have no idea how that has gone in. The cross had no power on it at all either. So McBurney had to generate it, but he didn't at all. He mishit the ball. Look, a little chip cross. McBurney just hits it so bad and somehow it goes into the bottom corner. Keeper's had a nightmare. The ball bounces twice before it even finds the back of the net through the defender's legs as well. Just a nightmare all around. <laughs> Sometimes it's the worst hit balls that find the back of the net and we will take it. One it up now. I finally get a challenge in. Six minutes in. Good old tackle there. There. Crew finally with an attack, 20 minutes in, my defender gets caught out, they run into the box, pass it across and it's an easy goal, I get caught in no man's land, didn't know whether to close the man down or mark the man in the middle, I did a little bit of neither, to be fair, just stood in the middle hoping to get it, but my defender here gets caught out big time, the striker does get a little bit lucky with the deflection and he charges into the box, passes it across, like I said, I'm in no man's land, I didn't really know what to do, I thought my defender could close him down but he didn't have the pace and we get caught out, so it's 1-1 one, one now, talk about getting caught out. I put a lazy leg out, out of position now, charging back, but the ball into the box is a perfect one. He finds the back of the net, making it 2 1, two quick goals, but fortunate for us, he is offside, and this was a close one. Look how disappointed he is, looking over at the linesman, hoping to change his mind, but he does not. Look at that, straight as you like, part of the human ruler family, but look how close this is. He actually does wander off. Just think if his kneecap was a little bit smaller, he would have scored a goal, but we get another opportunity here. Keeper makes a fantastic save. I thought he saved it with his face, but having a closer look, he did just save with his hand I get another tackle in here brick ball at the back as always over top free ball to us now look at that pass across McBurney finds the back of the net make it 2-1 just before half time but it's actually not McBurney it's John Fleck I believe his name is the old man of the team with a few old men but it's a good finish and he had all the space in the world this over top free ball is beautiful he chests it down lays it off to him all the time to compose himself and find that corner again 2-1 up it's a great finish though look at that watches the ball all the way Keeper doesn't really stand a chance, didn't hit it too well, but it doesn't matter. 2-1 up and we get another opportunity just before half time, but the keeper makes a fantastic save, flying across his line. Half time whistle has blown and it is 2 1 to us. In the first half, we kept crew down to a minimum amount of shots, so hopefully we can continue into the second half. But we do start off the second half with an attack just past the post. That's a very good opportunity. But now I get caught out over top through, but I'm charging back, but I can't get close enough. I do get a little push on him and he does miss the goal. Skews it completely wide. I get a nice interception here. Move us back on the attack and into the box we go. It's another opportunity. This time it's past the post again. We don't quite have our shooting boots until the 71st minute where we get a third goal of the game another volley we love a volley three volleys in this game do a little dead fish this time it's Norwood another old man of the group with a finish it's a good finish but the keeper didn't really stand a chance defending is awful look how much time and space he has in this box the pass across I thought he was going to shoot but then he chips up into the end Norwood charging into the box hits it straight down the middle of the goal and the keeper doesn't really stand a chance he could have reacted a little bit quicker but he hits it into the four bounces it up there we go, 3-1. We have just been all over crew in the second half. Another opportunity, Keeper makes a fantastic save, makes it 4-1. It's Jorge, I believe his name is. I can never remember it. I've messed up my knee slide. I think he's Jorge. Is that Kai or something? I don't really know how to pronounce things. I'm sorry. But again, look at the defensive situation. No one doing their job. He has all the time. And the keeper does make a fantastic save. So it's unfortunate. Hits him like in the face again. But look at that. No look goal. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Now we move on to the last 10 minutes of the game. Crew finally make their way into our half. But there I am again. Make the tackle. Make the block as well. And this game ends 4-1. A great performance overall. 8.1 rating. Only two standard tackles won. But it's a good enough performance. But now we move on to the championship game against Wigan Athletic. We are away from home, but still in the home kit. Start the game off with a little dance and a tackle. Look, like I get stuck straight in two minutes in. Put my body on the line. Another tackle. Just charging out, stopping everyone getting close to the box. Our first opportunity is the back of the net, though. 25th minute. Ends the box. 
Ins? Ins the box? In the box, there we go. <laughs> Another goal. I think that's John Fleck once again. He's found his scoring boot somehow. But again, right side of the pitch. Little pass in across. Another chip ball. Takes a touch this time on his lefty. Keeper really doesn't stand a chance. He could have gone left. He could have gone right. Either way, he found the back of the net with some power. Defender does try to close him down, but he's not close enough. Putting us 1 0 up. Here I am again getting stuck in with another challenge. This time I end up on the floor though. I'm not happy about it. I charge down the man. Not going to take that anymore. A little slide tackle. It's a beautiful slide tackle as well. Block the ball. Get the ball back. But again, this time quite a position. But the shot is straight at the goalkeeper. We are lucky. And that is the half-time whistle getting blown. 1-0. We have not done very well this game. But we do have the lead. So that's all that matters. Hopefully in the second half we can get some more shots. But they start off with their first shot. I try blocking it. But the keeper is there to make the save. I get another tackle here. They call me the brick wall. And there's a reason why. Because I win that ball all the time. Charging in now. We're in the box. He has all the time in the world. Makes it two. It's Jorge again. This time with his second goal of the episode. It's a great goal. But the defenders are nowhere to be seen. They've let the goalkeeper down big time. Just a little through ball. Time to perfection. Look at the time he has. The composure as well. Didn't panic. Showed the keepers the eyes. And then smashed it into the back of the net. Making it 2-0. The Wigan defenders are just shocking to be fair and again we are on the attack once more, long range effort, the keeper does make the save. I am out of position big time, over top through ball, they get their opportunity, Wigan charging through but again hits it straight at the keeper. That's my bad being out of position, this time I am in position, get the block in, could have been a foul but I do get the ball, I get a great skill as well. Now into 86 minutes, a whipped in ball, I'm nowhere to be seen but look at that for a finish, I had no idea where this ball was going. The camera angle sold me a treat, I had no idea what was going on but I do find the back net half in the deficit, this ball is ridiculous so just takes a little touch and no he doesn't even take a touch, he hits it first time. I'm just in no man's like looking around where the ball is, couldn't see it, but they find the back of that with a great header, but this ball is perfect, keeper couldn't come out, I had no idea, the other defenders had no idea, but they do not have enough time to get another goal, so we do win that one as well. Back to back wins, without conceding too many goals, two goals in two games isn't too bad, but as long as we win I do not care, clean sheet would be nice, so hopefully we can get one against Norwich, this time we're at home and it's a slow start for myself, Norwich in our box and I pass it across but I am there to make the block out wide, keeper didn't have to do anything this time and again I get stuck in with another great interception, the ball does get played through so I'm charging through, get the block off, get the ball back but lose it in the box, they pass it across, has a shot, the keeper makes a save, saves my blushes, I'm a lucky boy there, but we get into the box and have a beautiful through ball and we find the back of the net 26th minute is Jorge again what great form he has been in finding the back of the net once more but this through ball is just perfect look at that I think it's McBurney he leaves the defender as well he doesn't have a clue where he is and he just finds the back of the net keeper doesn't close him down quick enough gives him the time and he's always going to find the back of the net I am just bullying every striker I come against. The Norwich strikers are no different. But now we're back into the box. We hit the post from a great opportunity. I don't know how he's not finished that one. And again, getting stuck in. Push him to the floor. Get out of here. That's my ball. And that is half time. 1-0. Again, not too many opportunities from either side, but we do have that 1-0 lead. Another little dance to start the second half, and the keeper makes a fantastic save. It is straight at him, to be fair, so it's one he should be making. They're now a free ball, but I get back, win that ball back again. No one's getting past me in this match. I am keeping this clean sheet. A block here, but the ball just fall back, and the keeper saves the ball on the line. Another one, push him to the floor, just bullying him all day long. And we got a second goal in the 92nd minute. Norwood, the captain... Just an extra goal to put the nail in the coffin, not needed because my defence has been too good. I'm starting to feel like a broken record, talk about how bad the defenders have been on the opposition teams. Again, the space is there for Norwood. They need me in the back line to show some leadership, tell everyone what they're doing. But there we go, 2-0 and this game is over. Norwich really didn't do anything for that whole game. I pocketed every one of those strikers, just left them on the floor. Four tackles, a 8.7 rating, so close to a man of the match. But now we have to move to the last game of the episode against Rotherham United. And apparently this is a derby, I didn't realise it is, but... Either way, I hope we win it and start off strong. Another tackle is pushing people to the floor, but the midfield didn't like that. That's a two-footed challenge. Ref gives the advantage. He does get a book in after a little while. Again, getting stuck in. And once more, just stopping anyone getting close to my goal. Moving on to the 37th minute. Over top through ball. Look how close it is to the line. A whipped in ball. Bad touch. He hits it anyway and somehow finds the back of the net. It's Jorge once more. He is on something. He's got a special water. That is a ridiculous finish. But the goalkeeper has had an absolute nightmare. 
The touch and the cross was horrible, but somehow he just thinks stuff it, wellies it into that corner. I have no idea what's gone on. Look at this, just whips it in. The touch is horrendous, but follows it along. How is he shot from that type of angle and how has it crept into that near post? This is the angle you want to see. Just hits it, his body's all over the place. He's going to have a bad back after that one. But look at that keeper, just puts his hand out, he's scared of the ball crazy finish but one and up we are just before half time Rotherham get an opportunity but it doesn't go in so we go into the half time interval one nil up another little dance to start the half off right and hopefully give us some good luck and we do start off strong 48th minute we hit the crossbar I have no idea why Harry is walking like that but it looks like he's had a little accident but doesn't matter he's still performing well and McBurney finds the back of that he's performing pretty well as well 2-0 up now and Rotherham have done nothing this whole game they had a half chance but it's not good enough to be fair it's just too easy for me and the other defenders and our attackers are performing so well recently goal after goal but look like we're a little bit lucky the tackle doesn't go through he's not strong enough and the pass across McBurney against has the time no one close him down hits it first time just over the defender's leg and the keeper again no chance and there i am once more getting another tackle what's that you want another one nope an interception instead just put him under pressure constantly don't give him time on the ball and there it is the second challenge from Lindsay. i think it is he gets a second yellow card he is off it's another poor challenge he could have been sent off for the first one but the second one just adds insult to injury the referee is not having any of it i think it's mcburney who gets absolutely snapped he's late on the ball the challenge Andrew falls on top of him. It's a yellow card all day long. Because of how easy this game is, I've charged into the box myself. The ball gets played across to me, hit left foot, but I don't have a clue how I've missed it. I scuffed it completely, but this time McBurney shows me how it's done. 93rd minute. The ref should have ended it, but he didn't. Another little insult to the injury. 3 0. McBurney is so good for some reason. To be fair, our whole strike force has been performing so well, but that's a great finish. Keeper just falls to the floor in embarrassment. He finds a side net. It's a great finish. Just finesses it past the keeper. He just falls to the floor in agony. And that is where the whistle gets blown. 3 0. Another little dance to end the game. An 8.5 rating, but still not good enough for a man of the match. But four wins out of four. Harry Maguire, the brick wall at the back. And that is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Turn your notifications on. And as always, look after yourself. Stay safe. And I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.